The Resident Evil 2 Remake one-shot demo has been out for a few days, and with the 30-minute time limit, many people spent their time rushing to complete it. So, let's take a look at a few secrets, easter eggs, and callbacks that you may have missed. First, while it was fixed in the public version, the original version of the demo had a one-frame glitch that revealed Leon's true outfit to start the game. No, it isn't the RPD uniform. There were also clues to this in the trailers and the online commercial. Whenever a character in Resident Evil changes, the screen goes black and we hear the noise of the clothes. Listen carefully in the demo. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. The coat might even be shown to us in the demo hanging on this coat rack. Next, did you know you could go outside? Probably. But if not, simply turn around when the demo starts and go out the door. There isn't much out there, but there is something familiar. A callback to a secret camera angle from the original Resident Evil 2. The RPD gate holding back zombies. Did you get this in the original game? You may have also missed the outdoors, because while you were on the right side of the RPD finding half an Elliot, Officer Marvin was actually barricading the front door. Did you notice all the furniture? Great work by the future zombie who we discover is also Officer of the Month. Marv's effort was worthy of the RPD motto, We Do It, another Easter egg displayed on a statue in the waiting room. Remember the premature RE2 remake announcement Capcom made back in 2015? The developers love joking about it, and they've integrated it into the game and into Resident Evil lore. We do it! Some other people who do it are the STARS team. You can see an Easter egg, a team photo from Resident Evil 2 and 3, in the dark room save room, laying in the development fluid. STARS! And, can we talk about these places where something huge busted through the wall? Looks like Mr. X is doing. But is Mr. X even dropped into the RPD yet? And was it Nemesis running around the RPD in RE3 prequel section? Those aren't Nemesis holes, are they? An Easter egg from the original game is also back in the new version. JoJo, a name on a locker near where Marvin was dying that referred to another Capcom game at the time, can be seen on one of the lockers in the West office. In the same room is a connection to another fan popular yet neglected game series, Resident Evil Outbreak. The name tag on the desk is that of Rita Phillips. You may remember her harrowing escape from Raccoon City in Outbreak File Number 2. And did you know Rita's escape passageway was the influence for the new RPD goddess statue? Speaking of other games, we have to talk about RE7. The RE2 demo calls us back to the good old dummy finger days with this mini mannequin found on the third floor. That also reminds me of the memes from the RE7 demo days, and one of those was Andre eating pipe. Now let's go down to the first floor of the RPD in RE2 and check out the officer hanging from the ceiling. Eating pipe. I don't think that's a coincidence. But, can you follow him? Remember, RE2 is using the same game engine as RE7, and so a lot of the same assets can be found. Flowers, clocks, and a couple things that we thought were pretty funny, like this mysterious Jack Baker message from Resident Evil 7, same exact text, and my favorite, this magazine, found on the boat by Mia in RE7. The article talks about a tragedy that happened 16 years ago in Raccoon City. So how did the magazine travel back in time? Great Scott! 
So far, that's what's been discovered in the demo. And if that's a sign of things to come, we are going to have a lot more secrets and Easter eggs to find on January 25th, when we finally get to play Resident Evil 2 Remake. Crimson Army, did we miss any Easter eggs, secrets, or callbacks? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe.